Thank you. I... I should go. Hi everyone, welcome back to Rain Game and Karen Plane. Assassin's Creed 3. And uh, I don't know. We're gonna go and kill uh, the Bulldog Maddock. Is he called Maddock? I can't remember if that's Bulldog Maddock from Frasier that I'm thinking of. Oh, was that guy just bent down to smack me with a spade? How far away does he live? Okay, not too bad. Could have done with a horse. Can I summon a horse from anywhere? No. There's one. Oh, it's attached to people. God damn it. Oh yeah. What about I ride the rabbit? Ride the... What is that? What is this thing behind it? What is that? A raccoon. We don't got those in my part of the world. Then my kids' book, it's they've localised it to British, but they've left a picture of a raccoon in wildlife and an iguana. <laughs> so I'm like, well, we, we definitely don't have those here. <laughs> but it was a, a, an American book originally. They tried to, to make nice for us. And um, yeah, there was a few stragglers. It's like you could have put a badger in there. We've got badgers everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but in most places. Squirrels, pigeons. It's got a pigeon in there. We absolutely do not have raccoons. Got a load of monk jacks. Especially at the moment, they keep committing suicide. You scratching your side? That's quite cute. Or was you glitching? Why the hell did I climb up the cliff just to come back down again? Whee! That's some rock hard snow, mate. Now to freeze your butt. Oh no, maybe not. Freeze your buttocks off, boy. Oh god damn it, I thought we were closer than we were. Holy plop. Who's that? Get your hand off the sword, you're not gonna be doing any killing tonight. Just because the game's called Assassin's Creed doesn't mean it's you got to fulfil your assassin's need to kill. Um, come on, I just want to go in the direction of the thing. Okay, yeah, it's right here. Is this a house in the middle of the snow? Oh, could be. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hello, lovely. Are you ready? Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Quite right, love. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. I can hide in that cart. You mean the one that's fucking flying along? As you wish, two barrels of salt, twelve pounds of pork, ten pounds of beef, seven dozen eggs, salted pork, rolls of cheese, none of it French, don't worry. Ripe, right 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 of couple of new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching. Blankets to cut feed for the horses. What else? That's it. What else? That's all there is. Is that all there is? Is that all there is? If that's all there Those is. Those cannons my are like friend. to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Perhaps she could, but there seems to be fucking bodies by. Come on, let's do it. Oh, fuck. Can we just do it? Can we do it from here? General Braddock refused 
be offered. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? He doesn't fit well. George Washington? George Washington? He was a president, yeah? Can I get fucking Foster? I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That the... map will surely be of use. I need to find it. No, no, no. I think it's so slow. Oh, look, George Washington's gonna kill me. <laughs> George Washington's Those the one with the wooden teeth, like yeah? trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Perhaps. Perhaps you could, uh... Oh, poop. That's why I was supposed to start all the killing. Crouch down. That's it. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truth. Damn it. Why, George? What reason did he give? What he reason? The diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the friends to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. Are they going to see that dead body and be like, what? No, I'm not fucking... <laughs> but I heard it before when I died. Doesn't that count? Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Oh, you're likely to shut the fuck Perhaps up. Perhaps I no, could you know sabotage actually. them. Oh, he what, said George? a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The March North will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least Don't this stop. will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Get off the fucking thing. Get in. This looks safe. Is it in here? No. Okay. Steal the tactical map. Steal the tactical map. Oi. Who's that? This. Oh, you can't see me. Where do you think you're good? Shut up. Oh, now everybody wants me. Right. There's a dick there. You can't see me. Look, I'm in the grass. 
hide. Get down. Look, he's right behind us. We're gonna die. We didn't kill him, we just put him to sleep, right? Sabotage. Shh. Jump off the cliff. <gasps> Fudge. Not quite what I intended. Not, not the end of the world. Pick up this ladder. Go on, up the ladder. You can't see me, I'm up the ladder. Let me jump over him. <gasps> Back outside the fucking fort. I'm walking into the back of that. Should we just see if we can just jump out the window? No. How am I supposed to just go through the door? Jump out! Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to just go out the door then, yeah? You, stop. Oh, I didn't have to actually be secret, I don't think. I think I was supposed to just leave. I didn't kill any guards using a weapon. Oh, where did he go? <laughs> Turn around. Come on, that fucking rabbit. I'm gonna punch it. Hello. Yeah, she has a colon in her name. Oh, the fucking rabbit. <laughs> what news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Maybe I'm just wrong. Because the game seems to be progressing well with me being this character. So... Maybe he's just not got his assassin's clothes yet. Here we go. Back to the right tavern. Full of the people that I beat up. Five months later. Is it now the my cold, turn? cold round. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. 
let us away. How did you walk, walk into a pub? First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. Welcome to every fucking country at the moment because That's of global warming. Too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Or we'll get there and he'll be being killed. Which would give and us, make us man extra inside. angry. Precisely. Do you need such massive gaps in between? Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. When this is done, I'm taking a week in New York. It's high time I went and saw the sight. In it. Of empty whiskey bottles and women's breeches, no doubt. <laughs> what other kinds of sights is worth seeing? You saying as if that was insulting to him. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. Hmm. What would you have me do? You know. Well, you will help the others to prepare. Follow. No one else's clock in the eyes. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. Fuck's sake. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts What's this guy not and speaking? forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. I think this they use must a guillotine, not come but... to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This <laughs> is why we ride. To offer them one last chance. The French will leave. Or they will die. Well, I have mentioned before that the now British is the time to strike. And Wait. The English specifically. To scatter the, the expedition French, is not enough. To must ensure that Braddock falls. Um, I'll be sure to try again. It's kind of still permeates. Disguise myself are, as one of his you know own. Like. And make my way to his side. Countries and towns and states Your that are near each other. Provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Except for Wales. Wales is the best. They probably hate the English, but we don't hate them. We await your signal. I don't hate the French. They're in front of us. I don't hate someone based on the country of their origin. Um, just kill him, I guess. Oh, kill this guy. I keep doing the wrong one. Kill them! Oh, I thought we were doing it sneaky. Oh, 
No, I'm not whistling, I'm trying to loot. Now I'm in combat. Alright, cool. And I got to reload my gun. Oh, I got changed. Got red clothes now, rather than... You getting on my horse? I got some natives with me. No one heard all that clanging and shooting. Call this forest home. It's all mud and with the French push back, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. Oh, these are 42s rather than nightly twos. Have served, you mean. Sir, you are grateful to have served. General! I'll not tolerate doubt amongst those I command, nor sympathy for the enemy. You're a dick. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Yeah, man. Sir. The best boy. He's running. Where are you off to, Edward? To his demise. It's chasing. Did I do that? Sorry, did you did that work or not? Reloading. Um, how do I shoot? Them? Shit. Yeah, okay. Takes six years to reload. Fucking ragged old bodies just all over the sky. Hey, there's one. Got one of them at least. Oh, there he is. We're gonna assassinate the boy. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Oh, 
George Washington. Isn't Don't. It? Hurry before he gets oh, away. Yeah, he had no voice. I guess they didn't want to. I said go. Give him a voice. And he's like watching everything going on like a puppet. I don't deserve this. You're a hypocrite, Hatham. I'm, I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand. And I'm faster than you. Oh, he turned around to beat me to actually do a fight then. That was quite cool. He turned into the sword mm. with a blade. Why, Hatham? Because I like it. Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. We were. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. Why is he really? It's done. Thanks. Now I have upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Honor me. Oh, a secret cave. Oh, the cave that we're in. We need the apple. No. No. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of your Zizu. Who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she has long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Hmm. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. Oh. You've shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. <laughs> and then he put his hat back on for <laughs> to be in the picture. <laughs> well... I'm gonna say I didn't see that coming, but <laughs> a streamy indeed. Now I've got my blue clothes back on. Come back from Dante back into Virgil mode. Snog a room. Look at these sneakers. A few days later. How do I get the paper? It flew off.
Come down. Where's the paper gone? Alright, oh, but the paper just despawned. So that's cool. Why'd the paper just despawn? Like how his legs spun to the side. Mow! What on earth? Is that a pig? Uh, he was like, mm, actually, no. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. Join the brotherhood. We should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. I'm gonna burn his finger. Do you I'm swear to uphold the, the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. Oh. You? are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father of Understanding, understanding guide, us. Guide, us. guide us. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? See, I thought that was a bit fucky what he was saying. Look, the ring's just flown into the sky. We're a Templar? Why are they basically exactly the same as assassins? You all saw that, right? Wow. Well, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response. It's like dealing with a six-year-old. You're a twat. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. 
Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, pushed but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. You're running out of right. time. That was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. Try it. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, oh, he's on Desmond, his side. Oh, we can no. either take a look around here, or Desmond's. we can head back to the Animus. Well, we'll look around here, but we'll have to do that in the next episode. <laughs> what a good twist. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,